If you watched our previous video, you will see what we did with our puppy in the first day home. Now, let's talk about what our plans are for his first week home. Kat here from Sanding Stone and if you're watching this video it's probably because you have a new little puppy or are planning on getting a new little puppy like we do and it's important to be prepared and have a plan and know what you need to do in that first week with your new little puppy so I want to talk about that today with you guys as well as let you know we have a really easy way to do that with our online step-by-step -step training course for little retrievers or if you have a versatile dog we have one for those too so let's talk about what we should be doing in our first week. Well, we should have a plan and be prepared. Being prepared includes knowing what we should be doing in that first week, but also having the appropriate supplies for that first week with our puppy. From puppy collars, to food, to training treats, whatever you need for that first week, that's included in our online course in a supply list, as well as we have sample weekly routines of what you can be doing with your puppy and goals laid out in three categories from obedience training to developmental goals to complementary goals with these little guys. In your first week, you have to have realistic expectations. You just brought this new puppy home from wherever and you are getting them used to your house, their new environment, and you're trying to make strides with their training goals. So this little guy, is going to be working on clicker training this week and most likely we will only be able to accomplish charging the clicker with him. So we're going to start that process with his meals in the morning and in the evening and then we're also going to be working on those developmental goals. Those developmental goals are going to include things like nail trims and grooming and just getting comfortable being physically handled. You know, even though he might not need his nails trimmed every single day during that first week home, we can still get him into his nail trimming position and work with his little puppy paws. And you see this, he's getting a little bit bitey. That's normal. Puppies like to explore the world with their mouths and bite and nibble. But we want him to learn that there are appropriate ways to play with us to play with our kids, to play with the other dogs, and that doesn't include biting us. So socialization will become very important from getting him used to new environments because he's just been with his litter mates up until this point. Getting him used to new environments will be also really important. So socialization doesn't end in this first week. It's going to absolutely continue on through his development. And that can include things like car rides. He's got to go in for a vet appointment. He's going to be socialized in those areas as well. So we're also going to be working on complementary goals. And those complementary goals are going to go hand in hand and be done simultaneously during the week as our obedience goals, and our developmental goals. So in those complementary goals, we're going to be working on things like creating a routine, and that has to be a realistic routine. He's going to need play time. He's going to need training time. He's going to need crate time. He's gonna need some exercise time, and then he's gonna need structured potty break time so that we can help him be successful with his potty training. All of that specific time is going to be something that you should plan out your day and have a very general idea of what you want to include so that you make sure he's getting an adequate amount of all of those areas. Sometimes people think that their puppy is not going to spend hardly any time in a crate, but you really should be including crate time even if you're home for the first week that you brought your new puppy home during their day so that they end up getting used to crate time from the beginning. So hopefully this gives you a better idea of what you could be doing with your puppy in their first week home. Whether you're following along with our online course or you need additional help from Patreon where we can give you daily support answering training questions, behavioral questions, and watching videos of your training sessions, we're here to help. We have lots of great resources to help you be successful with your puppy in their first week home. <laughs>